next is public limited company it is owned by two to unlimited number of owners called shareholders as there is no limit to the number of shareholders that can be part of a public limited company compared to a private limited company where there is a limit to the number of shareholders that can be part of it public owned companies are also run and managed by a board of directors and the shareholders are there to get their share of profit on their investment public owned companies are normally large companies because they have huge amount of finance to grow quickly and that is why they are generally multinational companies such as toyota toyota shares are listed in the stock exchange and anybody can buy from there to become a shareholder stock exchange is a market where shares are bought and sold and people can buy from them and that is why they can generate huge amount of finance to support large expenditure but the most common mistake regarding this concept is that students consider that public limited company is part of public sector as the name suggests the word public confuses them but i am telling them that the word public is not for public sector it's for general public because public limited company can offer their shares to general public through stock exchange as anybody can buy which cannot be done by a private limited company that is why that word public is there so public limited company also operates in a private sector similar to a private limited company